Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we will be making the classic gin martini. We're also gonna define what a martini is and what it is not to clear up some popular misconceptions about the martini. Stay tuned to the very end because we will be making a fun version of this classic gin cocktail as well as discussing some popular variations. Hi everyone, I'm Chris from The Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and creative cocktails. So we're gonna make the gin martini here in a second, but before we do, let's talk about what a martini is and what it is not from a classic cocktail perspective. Now, when we think about a martini, there are generally two major misconceptions in popular culture. First, and the one that I see pretty much everywhere, is that any cocktail served in this glass is considered a martini. That is not correct from a structural sense. Now, uh, the two cocktails that come to my mind immediately are the raspberry lemon drop and the espresso martini, both delicious, but not classic cocktails from a martini sense. The other one that comes to mind is any alcohol that is just shaken and strained into a glass like this. Vodka is the one that comes immediately to my mind. Um, it is delicious and people enjoy it, but it is not structurally a martini. So when we are talking about a martini from a classic cocktail perspective, we are talking about a cocktail that sits in the spirit forward category. It has its own formula and that formula is spirit, aromatized fortified wine and bitters of some form. There are many classic cocktails that sit within that cocktail family and we're going to discuss some of those a little bit later. But now let's go ahead and use that format to make a classic gin martini. To make the martini, we're gonna go ahead and build everything right in our mixing glass here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our gin. Next, our aromatized fortified wine, dry vermouth in this case. And finally, our bitters. We're gonna be using classic orange bitters here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set some ice in this glass just to get it chilling here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and stir this until it's cold, chilled, and diluted. We're just gonna go ahead and strain this right into our serving glass. So for garnish, you definitely could do olives, but my favorite garnish for a classic gin martini is actually a lemon twist. We're just gonna go ahead and spray those oils right across the top. And there we have it, a classic gin martini. Cheers. The Gin Martini is one example of a cocktail that fits squarely in a spirit forward cocktail family. There are many other popular classic cocktails that fit within that category as well. Everything from a Manhattan, which is whiskey, sweet vermouth, and Angostura bitters, to even a dirty martini, which is either vodka or gin, dry vermouth, orange bitters, and just a touch of olive brine to add some salinity and another layer of flavor. Now, another classic cocktail that fits in this category, which might not be as obvious, is the Negroni. In the Negroni, we have gin, sweet vermouth, and instead of the non-potable bitters that we've been using up to this point, we're gonna go ahead and replace that with an Amari, Campari in this example. So it has a nice bitter finish and it adds a lot of complexity into that cocktail. So we can have a little bit of fun just by tweaking some of the ingredients and that's exactly what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go ahead and make a slight variation to our gin martini. So to make this variation, we're gonna go ahead and start off the exact same way. We're gonna go ahead and use our mixing glass and get our glassware ready for our cocktail. Once again, we're gonna start off with our gin. Then we're gonna be starting to use some different ingredients here. Uh, now we have Lele, as well as some chartreuse, yellow chartreuse. And we're gonna go ahead and keep the orange bitters as well. And once again, we're just gonna go ahead and stir this drink and then we're gonna go ahead and serve it.
And then we're just gonna go ahead and strain it into our chilled glass here. And once again, our garnish is gonna be a lemon peel. And there we have it, our variation on a classic gin martini. There we have it. We have made the classic gin martini. We've also talked about some of the misconceptions around the word martini and what it means from a classic cocktail perspective. We've also had a lot of fun and made a simple twist on the classic gin martini as well. Now I'm curious what your favorite version of the martini is. Definitely put the recipes in the comments below. Now we know that you have watched videos like this in the past. You know exactly what we're gonna ask you to do. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you will get notified anytime we release cocktail videos similar to this one. Until then, I hope you are enjoying your favorite version of the gin martini. Cheers.